Hi there, so today is January 9th, 2016, and I was going to shoot this video outside, but quite frankly it's too cold. I still have my coat and scarf on, so cold in Houston, Texas is when it's damp and 55 degrees. <laughs> so to all my friends in Chicago whom I miss, I miss you very much, but I don't miss Chicago. <laughs> it's too cold. So I actually finished my painting yesterday. And I took some pictures outdoors today, and, and I think they're pretty good. And as far as I'm concerned, it's finished. And the really interesting thing about abstract painting, all art, but especially abstract painting, is that some people are going to love this piece, and other people are really going to hate it. And so the process, I sort of walked you through the process that I went through as I was creating it, but really the process involves, um, a viewing art involves three entities. The individual that created the art and what was um, occurring with that individual, the person viewing the art and what they're experiencing while they view the piece of art, and the artwork itself, which is its own entity really. So, you know, I saw this, this docu uh, documentary on Mark Rothko, and it was really interesting because something that he said is exactly how I feel and it's exactly what I've experienced. He said that, and it wasn't Rothko speaking, it was one of his relatives. They said that Rothko walked in on a man viewing his art in a gallery, and the man was crying, the man was sobbing. And Rothko turned to someone and said, he's experiencing exactly what I did when I made the painting. And so really good, fine art, whether it's representational work or abstract work, doesn't matter. Any, any good piece of art um, carries the vibration of the artist as they were creating the work. So an artist that's actually engaged in the work, really engaged in the work, is going to leave sort of a vibrational imprint. It's not just the visual experience of the viewer, it's also the emotional experience that they have when they're in the presence of the artwork. So keep that in mind the next time that you're in a gallery or a, you know, or a museum and you're looking at the artwork and maybe you say to yourself, if it's not representational work, you might say, well, I just don't get it. Well, try walking in and leaving your thinking self at the door and bring your intuitive self in and then see if you don't really get the artwork because for me, that's a lot of what my abstract artwork is about and also my representational work and my digital work. And I think that for most fine artists that are really um, soul invested in their work, that, that's the, that is exactly what's happening. There are some folks, and I'm not saying it's good or bad, that just make artwork that they're not um, so invested in, not so soul invested in, you know, it's they're cranking it out like a product the way a Del Monte cranks out green beans and there's nothing wrong with that. If somebody just wants something that is a particular color or whatever and that's what they're going for, that's fine. But that's not really what fine art is about. Fine art is about it's about reaching up to another level. It's about communicating in a way that is transformative and that really can't be experienced any other way. So I hope you guys enjoyed the process of the so-called spontaneous winter painting and I plan next time on doing a video on many other topics, but and hopefully the next time that you guys see me, I will have a tripod so I won't have to actually hold this device to record with. That would be really, really great. So thank you so much for following this series, and if you have any comments or anything else that you'd like to see me talk about or any type of artwork you'd like to see, leave your comments in the box below, and I will talk to you soon.